This trailer's wild. Anything we need to do, it can do. You never know. Every delivery is different. You, it's kind of a surprise when you show up and see what you're getting into. Let's try something new. What if we put a 4x4 under this side? Sure. Lift it up. That might give us enough to clear here. Because this is the highest point. Once we get past this, we'll be okay. My trailer, when it's all the way compressed, is 30 feet. And I could put up to 44 feet of building on here. So I could fit two 12x20s. And if I have that, I can't fit all that into a yard. So we usually load them backwards. So we'll take one off, set it either in a side street or a parking lot somewhere. That way we're just coming in with what we need. We can spin the building if we need to. It's lighter on the lawn. We don't sink as much. I'm just gonna push this back a little bit. Helps it helps us to see better if it's further back when we're backing in. There's all kinds of tricks for us. I don't even know where you get a trailer like that. <laughs> I know. Yep, Pennsylvania. It just makes it a little bit easier. So I'm just gonna leave that one there. We'll go deliver yours and we'll come back and pick it back up. You can spin the building? I can spin the building right on the trailer. We're almost past the pole. A little bit further and we'll have it. Circle there, that's my barn spinner. That's how I can spin the building if I need to. So I can set it down sideways or at an angle, backwards if we need it, if it's loaded wrong. That always amazes customers. It makes them nervous when it lifts up like that and you can just spin it on a dime. 